Hey guys, I'm website strategy expert and YouTuber Wes McDowell, and I am super excited to team up with SEMrush once again for this start to finish course, how to outrank your competition in local search. If you're running a local based business, it pays to be on the map, like literally. If you can appear right here for people searching for a business like yours, that'll impact just about every aspect of your business including the revenue and profits you bring in. So you'll wanna pay particularly close attention to this video because I'm gonna be showing you exactly what to focus on in what order to make the biggest possible difference to where your business shows up on the map. Because here's the thing, there are literally hundreds of things that you could obsess over in your quest to rank, but time's a limited resource, right? Especially when you're running a business. So this is gonna clarify for you what's worth your time so you can focus on those things rather than on the tedious time wasters. And again, I'll be going in order of importance and impact on your ranking potential. So if you prioritize these improvements, starting at the top of the list, working your way down over time, you'll start to see results really quickly then you can start chipping away at all the other things. So when you put them all together, it's gonna strengthen your overall ranking profile, making it very hard for your competitors to ever take your position. And of the seven big ranking factor buckets, things like links, reviews, on-page and citations, by far the biggest bucket that impacts your ability to rank the most is your Google business profile, formerly known as Google My Business. So our list of priorities is gonna start right there on your listing itself. So here we go. Ranking factor one is choosing the best primary category for your business. Right now there are over 4,000 different business categories and many businesses are gonna have multiple options, but if you choose the wrong one, it can hurt you. For example, a yoga studio that sets its primary category as gym rather than yoga studio. This would be considered the wrong category because it doesn't really reflect the specific services that are offered by the business and it might make it harder for potential customers to find the studio when searching for yoga. So you wanna choose the category that not only is the closest to what you offer, but also the one that's the closest to the keyword phrase that you're trying to rank for. Okay, ranking factor two, keyword in business name. Now, it definitely helps if the keyword phrase you're trying to rank for is in your business name itself, but this can be tricky because Google doesn't allow you to stuff keywords in your business name field if that's not the actual name of your business. Okay, ranking factor three is all about your location. Both proximity of your business to the searcher as well as having a physical address in the city that's being searched. Not a lot you can do about those. Actually, there is one thing you can do. More on that in our next lesson. Next, in the number four position, we have additional Google Business Profile categories. So Google lets you choose not just one category, but extra additional, you know, secondary categories as well. And ranking factor number five, make sure that your Google business profile listing is as complete as possible. Okay, so now we're moving out of the Google business profile bucket and into all the other ranking factors outside of your listing that'll also help you the most, starting with number six, Google reviews. So the single biggest factor here is your overall star rating itself. In other words, it's more helpful to have fewer but better reviews than to have hundreds of mixed reviews. Quantity is definitely helpful too, but it's a little further down that list of priorities. It also helps to have reviews with actual text above and beyond a simple star rating, and even better to get some that mention the keyword phrase that you wanna rank for. Okay, and at number seven, you wanna focus on your website itself, making sure that you're following the correct website page structure and using all your keywords correctly in the right places for maximum impact. Next up at number eight, let's talk about backlinks. So getting good, reputable, relevant websites to link to yours has always been one of the most powerful factors in ranking your website. It's important to regular organic search results and it's almost as important when you're trying to rank in the map. Because this is actually a site-wide factor, meaning any link you get to any page on your website 
will help you rank in the map. And to be clear, this factor is specifically about the quality of those backlinks, not the quantity. And at number nine, we have citations. So a citation is really just any mention of your business online, and it's usually comprised of your business name, address, and phone number, otherwise known as the NAP. Okay, so that's what you should be focusing on, but what should you not really be worried about? You know, things like geotagging photos. That used to work, but it's a huge time suck to do, and it actually isn't shown to be any kind of ranking factor anymore. Also, keyword stuffing your Google business profile listing. So some people think that the more you can use your keyword phrases in your business description and your services, it's gonna help you rank, but it doesn't. So just write it naturally with an emphasis on good, persuasive, conversion-focused copywriting instead. Oh, and Google lets you write these posts as part of your listing, and you're free to do so if you want to announce a promotion or whatever you want to announce, but it's not gonna help you rank but there are two really sneaky things that will help. And in the next video in our series, I'll show you both of them and how you can get a jump on these opportunities that most businesses just don't even know about. So I'll see you there and I'll show you what I mean.